Today, we look at form three, vectors, vectors two in form three. So in vectors two, we have to advance from vectors one in form two for us to get, to get the concept of vectors two. So for us to understand that, I'm going to come up with a question, just one example, so that we can be able to work it out together. So vectors two comprise of two parts. We have part A, which gives you four marks, and we have part B, which gives you six marks. But you have to understand that for you to get the six marks, you must get the four marks. So you cannot get these six marks if you can't get the four marks that are in part one of, in, of a question in vectors two. So I'm coming up with a question, then from that question you're going to see the two parts. So now, uh, let's say you're given a question like this, a triangle O, A, B is such that, is such that, O, A is equals to A and O, B is equals to B. Okay? O A is equals to A and O B is equals to B. You're also, sorry, uh, you're also, you are also given that points N and M are on A B and O B respectively. Point O, N, and M are on A, B, and O, B, respectively, such that A, N to N, B is equal to 2 is to 1. And O, M to M, B is equal to 1 is to 3. A express vectors express vectors one A B two O N three A M in terms of A and B. That is part A, which gives you four marks in total. B, you are told this. You are, you are father. Given that, your father given that, your father given that. O, N, and A, M meet at X, such that, such that O X is equal to K O N and A M sorry and A X is equal to H A M by expressing O X in two ways determine the value of K and H, and hence show that O, X, N are collinear. X are collinear. So that is the question. A triangle O, A, B is such that O, A is equal to A, O, B is equal to B, you are also given that point N and M are on AB and OB respectively, such that AN to NB is equal to 2 is to 1, and OM to MB is equal to 1 is to 3. Express vectors AB, ON, and AM in terms of A and B. B, that is part B, which gives you six marks. You are further given that ON and AM meet at X 
such that OM, OX is equal to KON and AX is equal to HAM by expressing OX in two ways determining the values of K and H and hence show that OXN are collinear. So let's now look at how do we answer this question. We have to come up with a triangle. Our triangle is here. You're given O, A, B. Vectors O, A is A, vectors O, B is B. You are given a point N and you are given a point M. So you have O, N and you have A, M. The two points meet at X, the two lines meet at X. The ratio of A to N and N to B, it is 2 is to 1. And O, M to M, B is 1 is to 3. So there is our table. So if we start from part A, which you have to understand, if you get the marks for A, part B is going to be very easy. So what do you do? You say A is asking us to express A, B, O, N, and A, M in terms of A and B. So what am I supposed to do? According to vectors, A, B, is equal to AO plus OB. So therefore, AB is equal to AO plus OB. Now, AO is equal to minus A. Is equal to minus A. Why? You are moving against the arrow because OA is positive. AO is going to be negative. Then you add OB is positive B. So therefore, AB is equal to minus A plus B. That one is correct. Then, part two, you are being asked to get ON. ON is equal to OA plus AN. Is equal to OA plus AN. So, let's see it. So if you're talking about ON is equal to AO, oh sorry, OA plus AN, therefore, OA is equal to A, and AN is the ratio of 2 over 3 total AB. But you have your AB. Remember, AN is the ratio of AB. Therefore, AN is equal to 2 over 3 AB. And already we have our AB. So you're going to have A plus 2 over 3 bracket minus A plus B. This will give you A minus 2 over 3A plus 2 over 3B. Total, um, the answer will give you A minus 2 over 3A is equals to 1 over 3A plus... 2 over 3B. So that is the answer for ON. Then, after getting ON, we can get our AM. Again, we are saying ON is equal to OA plus AN. ON is equal to OA plus AN. OA is A. AN is a ratio of AB. 2 over 3AB. And AB, we already have it here, minus A plus B. So therefore, 2 over 3 into bracket minus A plus B is give you A minus 2 over 3A plus 2 over 3B, which gives you a third A plus 2 over 3B. Let's come to AN, AM. AM will be equal to AO plus OM. AO plus OM. AM is equal to AO plus OM. Again, AO is a negative. And OM is a ratio of OB, which is a quarter OB. But OB is equal to B. So therefore, minus A plus a quarter B. That marks the answer for OM. Now, let's go to part B now. 
you are further given that OX, sorry, ON and AM meet at X such that OX is equal to K O N and AX is equal to H A M. So for us to get the answer, for us to get K and H, we have to express OX in two ways. So we have OX. You are moving from the origin to X at the center. So OX1, the first expression for OX1, is equal to K O N, the one that you are given, K O N. But we have our O N here. So our OX1 will be equal to K into bracket a third A plus 2 over 3 B, which will give us, uh, if you open the bracket, to give, to give you a third KA plus 2 over 3 KB. That is OX1. Another way to get OX2 now, to move from O to X, another way, it is moving through A, because you are given AX. So now you'll take another way to reach to X from O, it is OA plus AX, OA plus AX. So OA plus AX. OA is equal to A, then AX is equal to H AM is equal to H AM. So therefore, you are going to have A plus H. You have AM here, which is minus A plus a quarter B. So you're going to have A minus HA plus a quarter HB. Because A is common, you'll have now A into bracket 1 minus H plus a quarter HB. So now, this now becomes our OX2. But according to vectors, OX1 and OX2 are same because the origin is the same and destination is the same. So therefore, after expressing OX1 and OX2, we equate the two. So therefore we say OX1 is equal to OX2. Since we have the equation for OX1, which is a third KA plus 2 over 3 KB is equal to A1 minus H plus a quarter HB. So this is equation for OX2 and this equation for OX1. So after that, we equate the coefficients of A and B this way. This one is equal to that one, and this one is equal to that one. So what does that mean? It means a third Ka is equal to A1 minus H. And also, 2 over 3 Kb is equal to a quarter Hb. That is A and A, B and B. So A and A cancels, so you have a third K is equal to 1 minus H. When you come to this other side, this and this cancels out. So you have 2 over 3 K is equal to a quarter H. Now, you can substitute or you can make H the subject of the formula by multiplying by 4, multiply by 4. This and this cancels. So 8 over 3K is equal to H. So that means in the first equation, you substitute H with 8 over 3K because H is equal to 8 over 3K. So what am I supposed to do here? A third K is equal to 1 minus 8 over 3K. To get the value of K, multiply by LCM of the denominator so that you have K is equal to 3 minus 8K. Take K to the other side, you're going to write K plus 8K 
9k is equal to 3, divide by 9, divide by 9, our k becomes 1 over 3. Now, since we have our k, then h is equal to be 8 over 3 into bracket 1, sorry, 1 over 3. So h is equal to 8 over 3 times k. k is 1 over 3. So 8 over 3 times 1 over 3, you are going to get 8 over 9. So our h is 8 over 9, and our k is equal to 1 over 3. Last but not least, you are asked to show O, X, N are collinear. Now, collinear means three points that are sharing the same line. So in this case, O, X, and N are on the same line from the diagram. We can see that. But how do you express this one mathematically? To express this mathematically, you have to come up with the formula, or we have to come up with the ratio. K is equal to 1 over 3. That means from O to X is one unit, and from X to N, it is two units. That is why you're saying one over three. So therefore, to show that O, X, and N are collinear, we express the ratio of O, X to X, N. We express the ratio of O, X to X, N. So that is, you're going to get one is to two. By writing O, X to X, N, and the ratio is equal to 1 is to 2, then you have expressed the O, X, as one, o, X and N as being in collinear. So that is vectors 2 by an example.